Welcome to the GEMDS video training series. In this video, I'll cover the key features and the physical hardware that the MDS Master Station offers. I'll be using this 3D model and also a unit set up in a rack to show specific hardware and demonstrate the modularity of the product. I'll begin with the key features offered from the MDS Master Station and then I'll get hands on and show some of the hardware options. Welcome to the MDS Master Station. The MDS Master Station is what you've come to expect from GE MDS products. Reliable, flexible, secure, and industrial rated. Key features include the warm standby transceiver, redundant power supplies, operating in full or half duplex mode, operating as a master station, repeater, and remote, adjustable output power up to 10 watts, and being backwards compatible with the MDS X710 radios, including the 2000, and 4000 remote series. The MDS Master Station is rated to operate and perform well in harsh environments and has multiple AC and DC options to fit your system and physical resilience with the hardened MDS Blue aluminum chassis. As just mentioned, the MDS Master Station is fully backwards compatible with X710 networks and supports switched carrier. It can replace your 9790 and 4790 master stations without you needing to redesign the entire network. The dimensions for the MDS master station are identical to the legacy products, making it an easy upgrade process. It supports A and B modem types, analog and digital modem support, keying modes such as continuous key and data key, along with configurable PTT and CTS delays. The MDS Master Station offers a 1 plus 1 redundancy. This means that the unit may be ordered with two full duplex SD series transceivers and power supplies. In the event of an RF failure or power loss, a switchover automatically occurs to recover the unit to an operational state. This failover typically occurs in less than one second, allowing you to continue monitoring and controlling your critical infrastructure. The front panel of the unit provides many flexible options to the user for device configuration and data management. This includes multiple Ethernet ports that operate in 10 or 100 megabits per second. The COM1 serial port on the left, which supports RS-232 signaling and hardware flow control. The COM2 serial port on the right, which supports RS-232 and RS-485 signaling hardware flow control only in RS-232 mode. D-Link may also be configured on either COM1 or COM2 and a mini Type-B USB port that can be used as management or data. The MDS Master Station provides a modular experience as each card is easily accessible from the front panel without the need to disassemble the entire chassis. The input power cards are located on the far left of the unit. They may be set up for redundancy if power loss or hardware failure occurs in one of your cards. The DC power module provides multiple voltage ranges to best fit your system, while the AC power module ranges from 90 to 260 volts AC. Slot 3 is the interface card, also known as the connector module. This card provides the serial and Ethernet connectivity to the MDS Master Station and may also contain a Wi-Fi and GPS interface. Slot 4 and 5 are for the SD radio transceivers. These radios provide redundancy and are hot swappable, meaning that the MDS Master Station continues to operate during service periods or maintenance on one of the radio cards. To remove an RF cable, pull the cable outwards and then press the tab on the side of the connector. The tab will lift up to release its latch, then pull the cable out until it disconnects from the chassis. Slot 6 is the relay and alarm module. If the unit is ordered with two SD radio cards, then slot 6 will be a fully populated relay and alarm board. When only one SD radio is ordered, this board will only have LEDs and alarm outputs. The SD radio's RF will then be connected directly to the MDS Master Station's duplexer. The switch may be set to use radio card A, radio card B, or auto mode. 
Auto mode can be used to automatically switch SD radio cards if an RF failure occurs. Pull the switch out gently before moving it into position. The remaining slots in the MDS master station are used by the internal duplex module. This module will have a TX and RX RF port which connect to the out RF port on the relay module or the RF port on the SD radio module when two or one SD cards are ordered respectively. The antenna and external filter connections will be found on the rear of the unit. The MDS master station is industrial rated and verified to operate at an extreme temperature range of minus 30 to plus 60 degrees Celsius and can also withstand electrostatic discharge. The unit has an innovative heat sink, eliminating the need for a fan and thus removing the chance of overheating. Finally, the back of the unit contains the receive and transmit RF connectors. There are three options that you may select from when ordering the MDS master station. Option 1 uses a single end connector and has an internal duplexer. Option 2 separates the TX and RX into two end connectors and allows you to connect them to an external duplexer. Option 3 has the internal duplexer and triple end connectors. This allows you to connect an external notch filter. Knockout covers are installed on the unused ports on the back of the MDS master station. Here is the internal wiring for our option 1. The TX and RX are cabled through the internal duplexer and only one end connector is needed on the rear panel of the MDS master station. Option 2 does not include the internal duplexer and instead passes the TX and RX ports directly through to the end connectors. With this configuration, you can connect your own external duplexer. Option 3 uses the internal duplexer but allows the configuration of an external notch filter, which is connected in series with the RX port. This would be used when you wish to remove any noisy RF signals that may operate in the MDS master station's frequency range. I hope you enjoyed the first look at the MDS master station. To learn more about the specific features offered by this product, watch the remaining videos in this playlist, and for more information, visit our website at www.gemds.com.